University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. The whimsical nature of the draw for these first round matches has pitched the UK's largest university against one of Oxford's smaller colleges for tonight's contest, with a place in round two being the prize on offer. If the losers are to get another chance to qualify for the next stage, they'll need to be among the four teams with the highest losing scores from these first round matches. Now, Lineker College Oxford received its Royal Charter in 1986 and is exclusively for postgraduate students, the majority of whom come from outside the UK. It takes its name from that of the humanist scholar Thomas Lineker, physician to Henry VIII and first president of the Royal College of Physicians. Its alumni include the astronomer Heather Cooper. Its fellows have included the literary critic Terry Eagleton and the biochemist and Nobel laureate Sir Paul Nurse representing around 500 graduate students and with an average age of 27. Let's meet the Lineker Oxford team. Hi, I'm Alex Blandford. I'm from Cambridge and I'm working on a DPhil in the Anthropology of Civic Technology. Hi, I'm Josh Dorrington. I'm from Windsor and I'm studying for a DPhil in Atmospheric Physics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm James King. I'm from Fordingbridge in Hampshire and I'm studying for a doctorate in climate science. Hi, I'm Claudine Tinsman. I'm from Switzerland and I'm studying for a DPhil in cybersecurity. Now, playing them is the Open University, an institution which has lifted the trophy in this competition twice in the past, in 1984 and 1999. The pet project of Harold Wilson and his arts minister, Jenny Lee, it was granted a royal charter in 1969, with its first courses launched and its first broadcasts heard two years later. Alumni include the performers Romola Garay, Julie Christie, Sheila Hancock and Lenny Henry. And tonight's four are playing on behalf of around 174,000 fellow students. The team have an average age of 52. Let's meet them. Hello, I'm Beverly Randall from Bristol and I'm studying the Roman Empire. Hi, I'm David Lamb from Stockport. I'm studying philosophy with psychology. This is their captain. Hello, I'm Jill, I'm from Riddleston, and I'm reading engineering. Hi, I'm Chris Macklin from Manchester, and I'm studying law. Now, the rules are the same as ever. Ten points for starter questions, 15 for bonuses. Starter questions are solo efforts. Bonuses are team endeavours. There's a five-point penalty if you interrupt a starter question incorrectly. Fingers on buzzers, here's your first starter for ten. What plural noun appears in the titles of a novel by E. Nesbitt concerning Roberta, Peter and Phyllis, a dystopian ah. novel by... Open Randall. Children. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on composers who are buried in Vienna. In each case, name the person from the titles of some of their works. Firstly, the Hungarian dances and the symphony number no. one in C minor, the latter premiered in 1876. List. No, it's Brahms. Operas including Orfeo and Eurydice, Alceste and Iphigenia in Taurus, the last of these premiered in 1779. Um, Scarlatti. No, that's Gluck. And finally, symphonies including the little C major and number nine in C major, known as the Great. He died in 1828. Uh, Mozart. No, it's Schubert, that. Ten points for this. A very fine marble palace, the rooms of which are all gilt and painted with figures of men and beasts and birds, all executed with such exquisite art. These words of Marco Polo refer to the summer residence of which 13th century emperor? Lineker Dorrington. Kublai Khan? Kublai Khan is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on England. In each case, name the local government district that is the location of the following. All three are two-word answers of which the first word is South. 
Firstly, the village of East Coker and the Iron Age Cadbury Castle associated with T.S. Eliot and King Arthur, respectively. At South Midlands? At South Somerset. Secondly, the round tower churches of Aslacton, Seething and Keswick and Caister Roman Town, formerly known as Venta Icinorum or Market of the Iceni. Uh, South Norfolk? Correct. And finally, the recently closed race course at Toaster and the village of Silverstone, after which the motor racing circuit is named. Uh, South Northamptonshire? Correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Used by Chaucer to distinguish planets from stars, what word is used in Earth science to mean a stray mass of rock transported from its place of origin by... Lineker King. Erratic? Erratic is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time are on astronomy. In each case, name the star from the description. All three begin with the same letter. Firstly, what name, meaning follower in Arabic, is given to the giant red star that is the brightest of the constellation Taurus? It rises after the Pleiades cluster, hence its name. I know Beetlejuice is a red giant. Is Beetlejuice? Maybe? Yeah, Beetlejuice? No, it's Aldebaran. And secondly, the brightest star of the constellation Scorpius has what name, meaning rival to Mars? Probably because the two objects appear similar when viewed from Earth? It's an A. Uh, Rigel? No, it's yeah. Antares. And finally, an abbreviation of an Arabic phrase meaning the flying eagle. What name is given to the brightest star of Aquila? Together with Deneb and Vega, it forms the Summer Triangle. Alpha Centauri. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, it's not that. Alpha Centauri. It's Altair. We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a map of Italy. For ten points, name the city pinpointed in orange. Open my clip. Pisa. Pisa is correct. So you get bonuses following on from that. The University of Pisa is home to what is held to be the world's first academic botanical garden, founded in 1543. For your picture bonuses, you'll see the locations of three more university botanic gardens founded in the 16th century. I just need the name of the city in each case. Firstly... Montpellier. That is correct. Secondly... Leiden. That is correct. And finally... Leipzig. Leipzig. Leipzig is correct, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. The surname of which British scientist is used as an alternative to the AMU, or Atomic <laughs> Mass Unit? Open Randall. Uh, Dalton. Dalton is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on surrealism this time. Cat's Paradise, Cat Lady and the Fern Cat are among the works of which surrealist, born in Catalonia in 1908? She created most of her work in Mexico City. Dora Carrington. Dora Carrington. No? I don't think so. Okay. I think she's too modern. Dora Carrington. That's Remedios Varo. Secondly, a close friend of Remedios Varo in Mexico, which Lancashire-born artist creations include The House Opposite, The Giantess and the novel The Hearing Trumpet? I'll try Dora Carrington again. No, it's Leonora Carrington. And finally, Varo's vegetarian vampires depicts figures drinking liquids through long straws from red flesh plant foods including a rose, a tomato, and which large succulent fruit of the gourd family? Um, 
Pumpkin. No, it's watermelon. Oh, Ten points for this. What six-letter adjective links all of the following? Firstly, a 1904 novel by Henry James. Secondly, a flagship of Sir Francis Drake, formerly named the Pelican. And an... Open Macklin. Golden. Golden is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three questions on chemistry for these bonuses. Discovered in 1985, the C60 molecule, or buckyball, is named after which US architect and engineer born in 1895? Buckmeister. 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 Uh, Buckmeister Fuller. Yeah. Buckmeister. Buckmeister. Buckminster. Sorry, Buckminster. Fuller. Yeah. I'll accept that. Yes. Thank you. Secondly, what term denotes the two dimensional form of crystalline carbon that comprises a hexagonal lattice? Graphene. Graphene. Correct. When graphene is rolled up into a cylinder, the fullerene can be called a bucky tube. What other term is also used, abbreviated to CNT? Yeah. Carbon nanotube. Correct. <laughs> Another sub question. Derived in part from the Greek for stone, what word did I.J. Baer and R.G. Thomas adopt in their 1964 paper, The Nature of Argillaceous Odour, for the distinctive smell associated with rain after a period of... Linica King. Petrichor. Petrichor is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses on penguins, Linica. What is the second largest species of penguin after the emperor? It lays a single egg which it holds on its feet for the entire incubation period of about 55 days. I think it's a king penguin. Yeah. Uh, a king penguin? Correct. Describing their agile movements on shore, what word follows northern and southern in the names of two species of crested penguin? This is rock hopper, I think. Yeah. Rock hopper? Correct. Which crested penguin is named after an exaggerated style of dress popular in the later 18th century? Is that like a baroque penguin? <laughs> A rococo penguin? Okay. <laughs> a rococo penguin? <laughs> no, they're macaroni penguins. <laughs> Ten points for this. Developed during the Middle Ages and mentioned, for example, in Milton's poem L'Allegro, the rebec is generally held to be a forerunner of which modern musical instrument? Uh, open Randall. Uh, the violin? Correct. Your bonuses are on fine art and musical instruments. Firstly, what stringed instrument appears in paintings by both Artemisia Gentileschi and Franz Hals, played by Saint Cecilia and a jester, respectively? A lyre. It's a lute. Secondly, who painted the 1894 work the Mozart Sonata, in which her daughter, Julie Manny, plays the violin. Bert Morisot. Bert Morisot is correct. Painted in about 1910, violin and palette and piano and mandola are works by which French cubist? Brack. George Brack is correct, yes. Right, time for a music round. For your music start, you'll hear a duet from an opera. For ten points, give me the opera's title. <laughs> Linica Dorrington. Marriage of Figaro? Correct. <laughs> the Marriage of Figaro was the first work staged for the English National Opera by the director, Sir Jonathan Miller, who died in 2019. Your music bonuses are three more operas staged by Miller for the ENO. And again, I need the opera's title in each case. Firstly. The Barber of Seville. No, that's from Rigoletto. Secondly.
Uh, the Barber of Seville. <laughs> no, that's The Elixir of Love by Donizetti. And finally, this operetta. Three little maids from school are we, part of schoolgirl work and me, filled to the brim with girlish glee. Three little maids from school, everything is a source of fun. Is it HMS Pinafore? No, it's not. That's from the Mikado. Right, ten points for this. Name either of the films for which Ingrid Bergman won the Academy Award for Best Actress. Both have single-word titles. One is a word that has come to mean to manipulate someone into questioning their own... Open lamb. Gaslight. Gaslight is correct. The other one was Anastasia, of course. <laughs> Your bonuses are on systems of measurement. Traditionally used for weighing precious metals and stones, what system of measurement is thought to be named after the French city that is the capital of the Aube Département? in the Champagne region. Troy. Yeah. Troy. Correct. With units including pounds, ounces and grains, what system of measurement takes its name from French words meaning goods of weight? Hmm. Avoir du poids. Correct. For what do the three letters stand in the name of the CGS system, a forerunner of the current standard metric system? Hang on. It's a system. It's a system. Beverly, anything? Something gram, something. Right. We don't know, I'm afraid. It's centimetre, gram and second. Right, ten points for this. In classical architecture, the decorative motif known as an anthemion is commonly described as resembling which fragrant climbing flower of the genus Lonicera? <laughs> Open Taylor. Honeysuckle. Correct. Right, your bonuses now are on German buildings that appear on two Euro commemorative coins. In each case, I want the name of the city that is the location of the following. Firstly, on a coin representing the state of Brandenburg, the Rococo Palace of Sans Souci. Uh, nominate Macklin. Potsdam. Potsdam is correct. Secondly, on a coin representing the state of Schleswig-Holstein, the brick Gothic construction known as the Holsten Tour or Holsten Gate. Lubeck. Lubeck is right. And finally, representing a city state, the Charlottenburg Palace. OK. Berlin. Berlin is right. Ten points for this. Succeeded by his friend John Forster, which literary figure was the founder and briefly the first editor of the liberal newspaper The Daily News? Its first edition appeared in 1846. No one's going to buzz? No. Lineker King. Uh, Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens is correct, yes. <laughs> a very inspired guess, if indeed it was a guess. Three questions on the Hollywood actress Patricia Neal. In 1949, Neal starred in The Fountainhead, an adaptation of the novel of the same name by which Russian-born writer, also known for her anti-communist stance and the system of thought known as objectivism? Ayn Rand. Ayn Rand is correct. In the 1963 film HUD, Neal won an Oscar for her role as a housekeeper who resists the advances of the title character, played by which actor? Rock Hudson? Oh, it's Paul Newman. Now preserved in the US National Film Registry, which science fiction film of 1951 required Patricia Neal to deliver the line Klaatu Barada Nikto to a robot called Gort? I need a precise six-word answer. Uh, the Day the Earth Stood Still. Correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What medical rating system uses the five letters of its inventor's surname as a mnemonic to evaluate the condition of an infant within minutes of birth. Open Randall. Apgar. Apgar is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses follow on the medical theme with historical medical terms. Historically, the word ague commonly referred to what disease transmitted by an insect vector? Malaria. Correct. Ablepsy denoted what condition or disability? Ablepsy. 
Epilepsy? No, it was blindness or impaired sight. Now often used to mean a state of extreme anger, what term originally meant a form of paralysis resulting from a stroke or cerebral hemorrhage? OK, apoplexy. Correct. We're going to take another picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a major arts venue in London. For ten points, give me its name, which has been removed. Lennon Kirk King. That's the Royal Festival Hall. It is the Royal Festival Hall on the South Bank. That's correct. In 1988, it became the first post-1945 building to be given Grade 1 listed status. For your picture bonuses, I want you to identify three more Grade 1 listed structures built after the Second World War. First, this scientific research facility. Uh, Jodrell Bank. Jodrell Bank Observatory is correct. Secondly, this was built as headquarters for which corporate body, which is still based there? That's the Lloyds Building. It is Lloyds of London, yes. And finally, in which city is this cathedral? Coventry. Basil Spence's Cathedral, yes, well done. <laughs> right, some points for this. Which marshland wading bird has a tendency to fly in a zigzag pattern when startled, behaviour that gives rise to verbs meaning to shoot at and figuratively... Lenica King! Snipe. Snipe is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on First Republics. In each case, name a single year during the period of the named polity. Firstly, for five, the Portuguese First Republic. So it's going to be... Some time after, I think. They had a lot of revolutions in Portugal, didn't they? What were you thinking? What were you thinking? I was saying in the 1800s they had a lot of revolutions. Okay. In the 1820s. 1820s? Uh, no, I only needed one year. Oh, sorry. It's, uh, it's not, it's 1910 to 1926. Sorry. Secondly, the Austrian First Republic. Post First World War, maybe, so sorry. 1918. Yeah, okay. 1919? Yes, I'll accept that. It's 1919 to 1934. And finally, the French First Republic. Uh, 1789. No, too early. It's 1792 to 1804. Bad luck. Right, ten points for this. Built by the French in 1754, Fort Duquesne is a historical site in which US city, situated about 100 miles south of Lake Erie, its sports teams include the Penguins, the Pirates... Lineker King! Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is correct, yes. <laughs> These questions are on gulfs. In the mid-1960s, which Asian gulf gave its name to a resolution adopted by the US Congress to support increased US involvement in the Vietnam War? Tonkin. Come on. OK, uh, uh, Tonkin. Tonkin is correct. The Strait of Hormuz separates the Persian Gulf from which other Gulf named after a present-day country? The Arabian Gulf. Okay. Arabian Gulf? No, it's the Gulf of Oman. Finally, the Saronic Gulf, also called the Gulf of Aegina, is situated to the east of which narrow isthmus? Corinth. Corinth? Corinth is correct. Ten points for this. In arithmetic, what two-word term is used for a number that can be divided exactly by all the numbers below the lines in a group of vulgar fractions? Lincoln Dorrington. Proper? No. Anyone want to buzz you open? Open Rendell. Perfect number? No. It's a common denominator. Ten points for this. Used for data ordering in computing and stock control in manufacturing, for what does the acronym LIFO, LIFO, stand? Open Taylor. Last in, first out. That's correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on museums in Belgium. In which city is the Rubens House in which the artist created many of his paintings? Let's have it, please. Antwerp. Antwerp is correct. The town of St Nicholas, to the southwest of Antwerp, has a museum dedicated to which cartographer born in 1512? Mercator. Correct. 
the former home of an architect born in 1861, the Horta Museum in Brussels, commemorates a leading exponent of what architectural and artistic style? Come on. Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau is correct. Ten points for this. In addition to stripes, what shape at the hoist or flagpole end links the flags of Equatorial Guinea, Guyana, the Philippines, the Bahamas, Cuba and the Czech Republic? Open Maclean. Triangle. The triangle is correct. <laughs> Here are your bonuses then open. They're on the seductions of Zeus. Zeus took the form of a white bull to carry off which princess to Crete, where she became the mother of Minos. A Galilean satellite of Jupiter bears her name. Europa. Correct. Zeus turned himself into a shower of gold in order to impregnate which princess, the subject of a series of paintings by Titian? Danae. Correct. Zeus took the form of a swan in order to seduce which princess? She's the subject of a short poem by W.B. Yeats. Leader. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Alex Kershaw's 2004 book, The Longest Winter, gives an account of which battle that began in December 1944. Open Taylor. Stalingrad. No, you lose five points. Anyone want to buzz some Lineker? You may not confer. Lineker King. A uh, Kursk? No, it wasn't. It was the Battle of the Balch or Ardennes Offensive. Ten points for this. Denoting an upper story recess and window that projects from the exterior of a building, what word is an anagram of the name of the longest river in France? Uh, open Randall. Oriel. Oriel is correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on science fiction and religion. And after Dom, the Nicker College Oxford have 140. Open University have 210. Well, you got on terms again towards the end there, Lineker, but you didn't quite catch up. You could come back as one of the four highest-scoring losing teams. Who knows? 140 is a decent enough score. Thank you very much for joining us, though, and Open, we shall definitely see you in the next stage of the competition. I hope you can join me next time, but until then, it's goodbye from Lineker College, Oxford. Goodbye. 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 It's goodbye from the Open University. Goodbye. Good and it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>